Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So Shadow High Series 2 is officially here and I am so, so excited to have Monique Verbena today to unbox with you guys. She by far was my favorite out of the lineup. So I'm ecstatic that she was the first one to arrive from Amazon. I just... She's so pretty. Look at her in the box. She's so beautiful, but notably different box. I know everyone has already been talking about this, but like, obviously I have to give my two cents. They don't come with a second outfit. Um, first of all, I want to say, I think it is hilarious that I think literally every single doll in Shadow High Series 2 is a fashion focus. At the very least, several of them are. And this is the first series where they don't have a second outfit. So, like, I, I'm not even complaining. Like, that's not even a complaint. I just think it's really ironic that the series that starts off with, like, not having a second outfit, like, the first time that, like, a main series doesn't have a second outfit is the series where they, I think, all are fashion focuses. It's just so ironic and so funny to me. Um, but, yeah, so no second outfit. They do have the accessories. On a personal level, I am a little bit disappointed by it just because I really like the second outfits. I like being able to mix and match what the dolls are wearing and I like having the extra clothes. And I'm not like a play person with my dolls really. So most of these accessories will go unused. I might end up posing her in my display with her phone or I might take a few pictures of her with the makeup products that she comes with. But for the most part, these are just like plastic pieces that are just going to kind of sit in a box in my collection and go unused. So for me, it's pretty disappointing to have accessories over a second outfit, just because I would get definitely more use out of the second outfit. I do understand that some people really love the accessories. So I think that that's kind of a personal thing. Like some people are going to be way happier with this. Some people are going to be like me and they're going to wish they had a second outfit. So that one's kind of up in the air, but yeah, my two cents is I would definitely rather have the outfit. Um, but they are $25. So price is going to come into question. I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video once I've gotten her unboxed so that I can look at her quality so I can kind of take that into account. Because if the doll is very quality, I don't think it's like a terrible price point. But obviously if she's like really bad quality, not a good price point. So yeah, we'll talk about price at the end when I can have a more like complete and informed opinion. Um, but that is going to be Monique in her box from the front here. On the back, we just have a picture of a couple of the characters. I do already have Glitch that has also arrived. And then I have Zoe, who is on the way. The other two I don't plan on getting. Um, but yeah, so for today, we are going to be focusing on Monique. If you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that'd be really cool. And if you are new here, if you aren't subscribed yet, if you like what you see, maybe consider subscribing for more. But yeah, I'm going to unbox her off camera really quick. And then I'll be right back with you to really talk about everything she comes with and my thoughts on Shadow High Series 2. See you guys in a second. Okay, got Monique all unboxed. Very, very excited about her. She is on her stand. So they still come with stands, which is cool. They still come with little combs. And she has a whole host of little goodies that I'll zoom in on real quick here. Okay, so with all the little stuff she comes with, she has three makeup brushes. They are all painted pretty well. And what's funny is like they're slightly bendy. It doesn't matter at all, um, but I just was really unprepared for that, and I kind of like that texture. I don't know why. It just kind of works for me. So she has three makeup brushes. Then she has a little makeup palette here. It's pretty cute. Little mirror, and it does snap shut, so I like that. This tiny little lipstick I actually was very surprised by because I didn't think that it had this like clear section on top at first. I thought it was just like loose. I don't know how to explain that. Like, I thought it was just this. I did not realize it had this clear section on top and obviously it actually comes off. So I really, really appreciate that. Also really quick, if you see any like brown or anything under my nails, I have been painting. I've been working on a custom doll. Um, so it's paint, just so you know, I'm not like super dirty. I just might have some dried paint under my fingernails. That's a little gross of me, but you know, whatever. Um, onto the phone. So she's getting a call from Team Anti-Sparkle. And then on the back, it's just like basic here. And then there is a phone case, which I will say I think is really cute. Not only because I like the design, I'm sure this is a reference to something and I just don't get it, but I think that it looks really cool. Um, in general though, the fact that there is not only a phone for this doll, but also a phone case, I think that is very, very unique. Even though I said I was not as big a fan of the little accessories as I would be for a second outfit, I do think that this is pretty high quality and not something that you would typically see. So again, that's where it comes to a personal preference where like, yeah, I would love for her to have 
like pants and a shirt instead of this phone. But if I'm gonna get the phone, the fact that it comes with a phone case, I think is really cool. And there is this little clip here, so you can actually clip it like onto her thumb. So it looks like she's holding her phone. So the phone is really, really clever. Overall, my opinion on all of the little accessories is I haven't changed my mind. Like I still would prefer to have a second outfit over all of this stuff, but it is really quality. It is really solid. So at least on that level, like opinion wise, not as big a fan, but quality wise, this definitely holds up. And then there's one more thing that she comes with aside from herself that I'm not gonna lie, this actually irritates me. Uh, she has hangers. So there's like a pant hanger and a top hanger, which we have seen from Rainbow High before. Series one of Shadow High did not have these. But I guess my thing is, it seems almost insulting. Like I get that if you are a collector, you probably have extra clothes that you could use the hangers for. But if this is the first doll that you've bought or you only have a couple, so you don't really need the extra hangers. I just think it's weird to include hangers for a doll that doesn't have extra clothes. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being a little bit oversensitive, but I feel like at this point, if you're not going to give us a second outfit, like don't waste the plastic on giving me hangers because what am I going to hang on these you know like if I just started collecting and I don't have any dolls that have a second outfit because like all the rainbow high dolls that have a second outfit came with hangers so like aside from series one of shadow high there's no other dolls that like you could be using these hangers for their outfits you know what I mean like it just seems like something that's not really necessary and personally I do feel like it's a little bit insulting to be like, here's some hangers. We're not going to give you clothes to put on the hangers though. Again, that could just be me. That could just be like, I'm a little bit sensitive. Um, but yeah, I think that's a waste of plastic because if you're not going to give us the extra clothes, just don't bother, you know, like you could save that and knock 50 cents off the price, the dollar off the price, whatever you want to call it. Like, I don't know. That one just bothers me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm trying to not let that cloud my mood for this review, but I unboxed it. I didn't even realize they came with hangers. I literally pulled those out of the box and was like, you've got to be kidding me. But on the bright side, when we look at Monique herself, I was feeling a lot more positive when we pulled her out of the box. Okay. She's very, very cute. Let me get her off her stand here right quick and we can look at her face. I am obsessed with this makeup. Like, it's just so crisp. It's so pretty. I love the super dramatic wing, the little bit of sparkle with the eyeshadow. It just looks so, so good. I love every bit of it. And then the purple on her lip is so fun to me because like, since she's so purple anyway, it kind of just looks like a nude lip on her, if that makes sense. I don't know, but I am obsessed. And the paint job on mine is pretty solid. I think I said earlier, I got her off of Amazon. So kind of luck of the draw. So I was glad to see that she's looking real, real cute. And she has these beautiful earrings with the flowers on them, little hoop earrings. And the paint job on these also looks really solid, which is pretty cool considering like it's pretty small. There's three different colors there. The paint job could have gone wonky fairly easily, but it looks beautiful. Uh, hair, we have the braids. I love the braids. They're so pretty. I loved when Vanessa Tempo came out with the Rockstars line. That feels like an eternity ago now, but she was the last Rainbow High Doll with braids or Shadow High Doll, you know. And so I'm really, really happy to see them doing this again because they just look so pretty. I love all of the colors. There's like obviously mostly the purple, but the blue strands. And then there's also some strands where there's kind of more of an aqua braided in. And I just think the overall effect is so pretty. I love the color scheme. I love the style. I'm not gonna check the rooting. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna mess this up because <laughs> it's already like perfect in these little beautiful pigtails. I don't wanna mess it up, but you can see from the back and like from the thickness of the pigtails, if you keep it split down the middle, you are gonna be more than fine. Like she has got hair, especially if you're just like maybe restyling in a couple of different pigtails. She's got plenty of braids to keep the volume and keep her scalp from showing. So, so pretty. But yeah, I just, I don't want to check it and ruin it. Sorry. They just look really good. Oh my gosh. And then moving down her necklace. I love this. It's like very chunky. Super cute. More of the, I don't know if it's like a snake. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Because I, I know it has to be a reference and I just don't get it. But it's the same from her phone case. 
and I love it. I think it's very fun. It's a little bit edgy, but the biggest thing aside from the base doll that sold me on her was this dress. Oh my God, y'all. It's so pretty. It's just, it's so many layers, so many different fabrics. This top fabric, it's kind of hard to see because there's so much shimmer happening underneath. But it is like a slight ombre from a purple to a white. So that's beautiful. So there's that. And then there's like a shimmery fabric underneath. And then there's, is that two? Yeah, two layers, I think, of, wait, three? Two or three layers of netting under here to give it more volume. And it's just so pretty. I love the floofiness of it. I love the way the green reflects underneath like the over layer here, the top layer. That is so beautiful to me. I just, this is a top tier dress. This is so beautiful. The volume, the shape is so pretty. I literally love every piece of it. She has a belt on here. I don't want to take it off just to see what's happening underneath. Oh, okay. My bad. There's still more plastic on her. Okay. So real quick, taking a look at just the belt. It does have a little bit of shimmer and shine to it. I'm not sure if I want to keep this on her yet because I think it's cute, but it's like maybe taking away a little bit from the dress itself. I don't know. I can't decide, but this is what she looks like without the belt. So there's just like a little bit, like a tiny band of solid fabric there. Now looking at it, I think I will keep the belt on. I feel like it probably looks better. Hold on. I gotta, we gotta put that back on her. <laughs> Reassess the situation. Yeah, I think I do like it. I didn't think I was going to like it like from stock photos, but now actually being able to take it off and look at the comparison, I think it's good to have a little bit of bling in there. Very cute. I will say though that the belt makes it slightly harder to get her in her stand because they go at the same spot. Like the belt is exactly where her little waist holder is in the stand. You can, I mean, I had her on there before, obviously get her on there anyway, but it does take just a tiny bit more effort. Um, but that's okay though. Moving on her hands. So she's got these little fingerless gloves with SH on them. They are like 3D. I don't know. I don't know if you just heard my cat meow in the background, baby. It is okay. I promise I'm coming out soon. <laughs> but yeah, they are 3D. I don't know if it's like plastic or what. I can't quite tell you what the texture is, but it is 3D and pretty cool. She's got very tiny stiletto nails. Not super, super long like the Storm Twins, but a little bit of extra nail there. So that's cute. And both of the gloves do look quite quality, which is nice to see. I have like a faint little mark here. Not terrible, but just, I guess, something to be like aware of. And then her shoes. So I did leave the rubber bands on the shoes on purpose because I'm going to take them off in a second to see if they actually stay on. They don't have any strap around her ankle. So I have a feeling they're not going to sound super well, um, but we'll see. We'll find out together. <laughs> but I wanted to be able to show you what they look like on her before we do that little experiment. I don't particularly care for this shape of heel. I think it's just kind of weird. It's not my taste personally, but it's not ruining the shoe for me or anything because I do think the front is so cool. Again, we have that same like snake motif. Again, sorry if it's not a snake, that's, that's on me. But I think that's really cool that they have it kind of flowing throughout her design. Again, the paint job is really good. So overall quality wise, very, very solid. Let me take these rubber bands off and see what happens. Okay, hold on. Inside the shoe on the sole, it says shadow. Little hidden detail, but I actually think that that is insanely cute. I low key love that. Wasn't expecting it at all, but I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, we've got her shoes back on her and honestly, I'm eating my words. They are staying on way better than I thought they would. I'm trying to remember who it was. Stella, it was Stella all the way back in series two. Didn't have shoes exactly like this, but she had just kind of pumps that didn't have any strap on top. And those are very loose. These, I don't know if it is the strap on top that's helping, but they stay on really, really well. I don't know if we've had, I'm sure some other Rainbow High or Shadow High doll has had shoes more similar to this in the past and I just can't think of them. Um, but the whole point is that, like obviously you can get them off, but you know, I'm giving it a little bit of energy and they're not coming off super easily. So that's awesome. I'm very happy to see that the shoes stay on super well because anything that doesn't have like the ankle strap, sometimes I get a little worried. So I'm really, really excited about that because the style is very cute. And now knowing that they aren't gonna fall off of her at the drop of a hat, super excited about that. So, 
pop her back in her stand here and we can talk favorite and least favorite things. I think it is no shock to anyone that my least favorite thing is definitely the hangers. Obviously, the fact that she doesn't come with a second outfit is a bummer to me personally, but I was willing to overlook that knowing that some people would prefer the accessories until I saw the hangers, and I think that that's just stupid. Like, why? Why? <laughs> I don't get it. I just, it's fine. Whatever. We're not going to dwell on that, but that is my least favorite thing by far. Favorite things are the shocking amount of detail in the accessories. You probably can't see because I doubt it'll focus, but like the fact that there's a lid on her lipstick the fact that her phone has a separate phone case that's awesome and that i am in love with this dress it is so stunning to me so those are definitely my favorite things overall very very positive experience with my first doll from shadow high series 2 which is really exciting because i didn't know if the lack of a second outfit would be enough of a bummer to me that it kind of made me like the line less so I'm really, really happy to be able to say that I at least love Monique. Like I said earlier, I have a couple more coming, so we'll see if that continues to hold true. But so happy that the first one was so good. Um, price, yeah, I guess I have to talk price now since I've finally gotten through it. Overall, I would say I don't think it's a bad price. I would prefer to have more clothing, but with the detail in the accessories and with the level of quality on her pieces, like none of her pieces, at least on mine, I know you can have defects and stuff, but none of her pieces have crazy like loose threads or missing pieces or terrible misprints. Like her hair is good. Her face is good. None of her pieces for my Monique had really any quality control issues, which is a rare thing to be able to say. I feel like most dolls that I get have at least some sort of quality control. Like, even if it's really minor, there's something there that I can point out. But her, she's really, really solid. So I think that if the quality is consistent, like if other people are also experiencing this high level of quality with the doll and then with the fact that she does come with really quality accessories, I would say the $25 is still a fair price point, which I'm happy to be able to say because I was very, very nervous. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the stuff that she does come with is good enough to justify charging that price. So not necessarily what I expected to say, because y'all know I am more than happy to point out when I think a price is over, <laughs> overinflated. But yeah, I think that this one is pretty solid. So overall, a very positive experience today. If you guys have Monique, definitely let me know in the comments if yours was just as good as mine or what your thoughts on her are. And the rest of series two from Shadow High would love to hear your opinions and stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.